Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and today I will be teaching you how to automate thermal expansion machines with the mod Applied Energistics 2 using an ME system. So let's get started. The first thing I need to do is build an active ME system. I'm going to build a rather simple system. It's going to consist of an ME drive for storage, so let's go ahead and throw in a storage cell. Um, I will need an ME controller over here, and I'm just using a controller to actually accept power from a basic capacitor bank. Uh, you can use any form of RF as well as some other types of energy to power the system. And then uh, up here I'm going to put a pattern terminal, and the, the pattern terminal will be critical later on to so that we can set patterns. And then uh, right here I'm going to use a crafting storage. This is also critical if we we need this crafting storage so that we can actually uh, do some crafts with this and then the ME interface here is the block that can actually interact with other blocks from other mods and so let's place this right here beside that I'm going to go ahead and place a pulverizer in this pulverizer I actually uh, for right now I'm going to blank out everything so um, as we can see if I go ahead and throw some lapis in here uh, nothing's actually going to happen just yet because I don't have power to it but let's throw down a faster bank for this and now that we have power, this thing will crush up and provide me some lapis lazuli from the lapis lazuli ore. So let's um, let's actually look up the recipe while that's going going down. So uh, if I right click here and I look up the pulverizer recipe, which is right here, we actually will get 10 lapis for each lapis lazuli ore. I am not going to be worrying about the sulfur right here, but as you can see, we have 10 lapis in here. If I go ahead and set the left side to be output, it should go ahead and output into the ME system. So if I uh, disregard this right here, we have 10 lapis lazuli now in the system. So what I can do now is I can get uh, some blank patterns, put them in here, and then what we need to do is hit this button right here, which will change the uh, GUI down here a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put in a recipe. And the recipe is one lapis lazuli ore will equal 10 lapis lazuli. So we're going to go ahead and set that by hitting this down arrow right here. And then we're gonna, we are going to take this encoded pattern and put it in right here to, into the patterns area. So when we come over here, I should be able to click this button to see what I can craft. And if I hit this and say I want, uh, let's go 30. It should say I need three lapis or lazuli ore, which I do not have in the system. However, if I go ahead and dump those into the system, and then let's try this again, uh, we should be able to craft this up. So it should go ahead and try to inject the three lapis lazuli ore into here. However, it will not do it until I set this to be either input and output, or I can actually use this right here, which is kind of a catch-all and it should be an input, output, and everything in between. Um, actually, it doesn't automatically output or input, but it can interact with uh, pipes and things. So if you have an item duct, you can pull anything out of, uh, if you configure it like this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to be input and output. Uh, we do not need the auto input uh, enabled, but the auto output is always enabled by default. And so as you can see, uh, the craft is done and we have 30 additional lapis lazuli or in or not lapis lazuli or but lapis lazuli in the system So the ME interfaces are actually quite cool in that they can interact with multiple machines uh, Beside them. So let's go ahead and try this again. Let's go ahead and request a lot of stuff so um, it's, it's like, actually I need more than that. So let's go 1030 so uh, actually, my crafting storage is not large enough to do that. So let's let's try one more time, except let's kick it down a few notches, and there we go. Um, and that's still not enough. Uh, let's let's try this. Uh, that should be enough, and there we go. Uh, this number right here, uh, you have to have a crafting storage that is large enough to handle the amount of bytes. I only have a 1k crafting storage back here, so the other crafts would not go through because I needed more than 1,000 bytes to store the items. However, I should be able to hit start. And the cool thing about this is that it should start interacting with both of these guys. I need to actually configure this one real fast to be input and output in the bottom. But as you can see, it, it has injected lapis lucidly ore into both of these, and that is pretty fantastic. 
So you can actually use that to your advantage to have up to, I've used up to four machines on a, an Emmy interface before. However, you can definitely do five. Uh, because cubes are actually six sided, you still need that sixth side to connect up to the Emmy system itself. But you can do up to five machines on a single Emmy interface, no problem. And that is how you automate thermal expansion expansion machines using the mod applied energistics and the ME system. If you feel like you learned something today, feel free to drop a like and if you are interested in learning more about automation in modern Minecraft, definitely consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom08 and I will see you next time.